Uh, all right, guys. So garage update. We have got quite a few things done. So first of all, the new door is in. Let me show you that. So there you have it. Uh, it's, it's a secure by design, which is kind of like a police labeling system whereby they give doors a sort of security rating. This passes it. Uh, it's got a four point locking system. Two at the top, two at the bottom. You can open it from the inside uh, should you want to, but I'm just gonna keep it the old fashioned way. Open it up from the outside when I pull in. So there you go, nice and clean. The old one was just falling to bits. So it's put a nice, put a nice sealant down the side there. Put all new timbers beneath these uh, sort of fascia boards. I think I might sand this down and paint that just so it blends in a bit better. Yeah, but all in all, I'm very happy with that. So. There's the other thing that's been done. Well, at least part of it. Yeah, got the floor tiles in. Uh, I'll leave you a link below to the exact ones that I bought from the company which I bought them from, but so far, really pleased with it. Gone for the black diamond cut ones, as you can see. Um, comes with the uh, ramp edging. So it just, it just gives it a nice edge as you come in there. So you're just not hitting the square tile straight on. But yeah, really please. Basically, it's really easy to do. You just find your center line in your garage. Luckily for me, the old mount, the old uh, hole where the lock used to go in the old door, is exactly in the middle. So you just kind of draw a line. So, for example, from there to there was 53 inches. So you just dot a line 53 inches along. Put your first tile in the middle of that line, or should I say, the line in the middle of your first tile. And then just kind of work out from there and you kind of get an even uh, gap at either end. I mean that's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt to do because I'm going to have to cut loads of tiles down just to fit in this gap. But if you edge it all over to one side, you're going to, it's going to look uneven. So you know, you've got to do it right. So there you go. So what else has been done? Oh, I've put a second lock in this door here. So that's got one there and one there. So that's super secure. Ah, oh, I've got to show you this what I've got. Check out this chair. Look at this chair. The old tractor seat. Look at that. I just wanted a nice chair that I could put by the uh, shelf there that will sit underneath nice and it's so comfortable. Really, really comfortable. I love it. And it's all cast iron. It weighs a ton. Um, so yeah, that's good. Now the shelving is done, or the worktop I should say. Three coats of varnish, lovely, smooth, glossy finish, solid as anything. Really pleased with that. Got a nice little screwdriver set that I got from the MCN bike show last year. That's out and sitting there looking proud. It's probably not going to stay there. Got myself this, a Honeywell turbo fan. Now you can obviously stick it on your shelf there, but what I'm going to do I think I'm going to stick it up on the wall there and just have that kind of, when it gets really hot, as it has been, have that blowing in. Got a nice little vise, just a little one, four inch, made by Stanley, I think it is. Yeah, Stanley Fat Max. Let's have a look. Oh. So you bolt it to the top there, but it also rotates as well. So this is handy. That's going to live there roughly. That's the old fridge from the house, that still works. I might not keep that, I might, I don't know yet. Uh, now what else is gonna show you? Oh yeah. Check out this bottle opener which I've got. I'm sure I haven't shown you this yet. Look at that. I love stuff like this. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's my cup of tea and it's my garage and I don't care. I'm gonna stick that somewhere. So what I wanna do is get a nice little sort of comfy chair just to sit in this corner here even just like a fold out camping chair, well, a nice comfortable one. Maybe have a little table here, have a beer, sit down. There's my friend there, crack open a few beers. And that translated roughly means all good days shall end like this. And I thought it was very apt because it's nice to end the day with a bottle of beer 
and also the ivy what I had to pull off the garage I thought that kind of ties in quite nicely so yeah I really like that it was a good find all right so what else what else has been happening ah the new windows they are going to come in soon I've already put down a deposit for the guy that's going to fit them I'm going for double glazed laminate glass so it won't well it will break but you'll have to really go for it with a massive hammer um, it won't shatter basically like the normal sort of glass and it's got the shoot locks on it which are the uh, so you've got your standard bolts on it and you've got shoot locks either side of the frame which keeps it all secure on this side as it is here I'm gonna go for the sort of opaque sort of smoked glass so let's light in but you can't look in that side is just gonna be exact same layout one pane there another pane there that one opens up and I'm gonna have a little trickle ventilation system in the top there so it's always fresh air coming in all right the other new thing I have is this lovely torque black mini roll feeder grab it out of there yank it off come over to your bike give it a clean lovely 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 all done and then to this lovely little Brabantia bin which I'm going to warm mount just around about there. So that's a kind of cleaning, dumping, rubbish zone sort of thing there. Yeah, so it's all coming along very well. I'm going to do a bit more in the house today. I've got some skirting balls to paint and uh, the kitchen ceiling to do and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, it looks like a home in there now. It looks like an actual home where you can live in it. Um, the garage is looking better and better every time I come in here. The garage door has made so much difference. Not only in it's secure, it obviously looks a lot cleaner. There's no junk falling off it every time you open it. And that fresh smell, and it, fresh paint or fresh timber when you walk into a place, it just makes so much difference. And those tiles, again, I'll leave the link down there for below. They give off quite a strong kind of fresh plastic pvc kind of smell but that's slowly dissipating they're actually back at my mum's house now i couldn't get them delivered here unfortunately uh so yeah so what i'll do is every time i come over i'll just stick 10 or 15 on the back of the bike which i which is what i did today and um sort of do that as and when i don't really want to do it half and half when the window man comes so i'm just going to lay those whatever I've got there, 10 down, do that, window man comes, that's going to create a lot of dust as well, so I'll have to do another sweep up, another clean, and then as soon as the windows are in, that is it, no more dust, no more dirt, from that point on it just gets cleaner and nicer and fresher, which I'll be extremely happy with, I am sick of dust, oh my god, I'll tell you, just drilling that, the, the holes to fit that in, Dust was flying everywhere, dust on top of the... I know I should have covered it and all that kind of stuff, I know. But I just went in there quick, just wanted it up there so it's, in, you know, it's out of the way. So yeah, that is it. All right, thank you guys. I will be carrying on next week, no doubt. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all very soon. All right, guys, take it easy. Adios, see you later on. Bye.